All right. Finally, a story out of California. For those of you concerned about uh, homelessness in, Cal in San Francisco, and I know many of you are, because like me, you love the city so much. Uh, I'm being cynical there because most of you hate San Francisco. Or at least, you know, that's the kind of feedback I get in my comments when I, whenever I say something nice about San Francisco. People just, just, just pile up on it. Anyway, uh, San Francisco's elected officials, you know, the, 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 the city council, the mayor, have finally decided to do something about homeless people. And they, they want to sweep homeless encampments and take them apart and, and get rid of them, uh, particularly uh, on sidewalks. They want to get, they want to open up sidewalks for, surprise, shockingly, pedestrians. Um, and, and they started the process of actually doing that in San Francisco, you know, cleaning up the sidewalks, getting rid of homeless people, uh, uh, pulling down the tents, or, and, and restricting their ability to just camp any way they want. Um, anyway, uh, a bunch of nonprofit groups uh, that uh, are supposedly protecting the homeless people uh, filed uh, with the uh, courts, with the California courts, uh, basically convinced, they've convinced the courts to ban this practice of cleaning up the homelessness until basically San Francisco can offer free, uh, you know, at, at least beds, but ultimately free uh, housing to every homeless person who happens to arrive in San Francisco with a tent. Now, we've already talked about this over and over again, that all that does is incentivizes, dramatically incentivizes people to move to San Francisco or homeless in order to wait in line to get a free home. You hand out free stuff. There is almost infinite demand for that free stuff. Uh, and so there is a battle right now in the court system around, you know, the, the, the governments, the, the not-for-profits and the courts saying, uh-uh, you, you have to actually put them in a house. There's a, I guess, there's an implicit right to housing in San Francisco, in California. And actual elected officials in California, who are all to the left of, I don't know what, advocating for, no, we need to clear the sidewalks, we need to get rid of these homeless people. Guess where Gavin Newsom falls on that spectrum for, for maintaining the homeless encampments and getting them into homes or kicking them all out? He's on the kicking them all outside. Um, the uh, Gavin Newsom said on Tuesday the state will intervene in an ongoing federal court case that's barred San Francisco from cleaning up homeless encampments until more shelter beds or housing, uh, saying the judge has gone too far and is preventing the state from solving a critical problem. Gavin Newsom says, I hope this goes to the Supreme Court. And that's a hell of a statement coming from a progressive Democrat, given how conservative the Supreme Court is. So even the left in San Francisco has come to the realization that just allowing squatters, just allowing people to squat anywhere on the sidewalks, to defecate anywhere on the sidewalks and streets of San Francisco is unacceptable. And that the city needs to clean it up as part of its responsibility to the individual rights of its citizens. And even the so-called progressive governor of the state of California is siding with the city of New York. And, and this is the thing about the left, at least some on the left, that the left is constantly slapped by reality, or to use a term Irving Kristol used many decades ago, the left is constantly mugged by reality. I mean, the true believers, the mystics within the left, ignore reality, ignore the mugging, keep to their beliefs. But some of them, at least on some issues, on some things, move away from the crazy positions. And when it comes to actually governing a city, uh, engage in activities that will actually, uh, you know, get us back to reality, gets us back to sanity. So, and this is why 
you know, these uh, some of these things, um, I'm not as pessimistic as so many others are because I do think there is a mugging of reality and there's still enough people that can only evade so much, can only evade so far that when they, when they face this, there are political consequences because maybe the political leaders can evade, but the voters won't evade because it affects their actual day-to-day -day quality and standard of living, that they demand action and the politicians give them that action. So things can and often do get better. It's not just a spiral, what is it, a doom loop downwards. There's also a positive, and the positivity comes shockingly from reality. Reality setting in and people accepting that reality set in and demanding changes. And usually that comes from the electorate. Now, over time, things are worse, but they're worse at a much smaller margin than what it appears. The things get worse much, much slower on a, on a, on a, on a global standard over the long run than in any given moment it appears. It appears things are getting really, really, really bad and everything's going to collapse them on. That's true in economics. And it's true in things like homelessness, and it's true in other things. Now, it had to get really bad for reality to kick in in San Francisco. The mugging had to be pretty intense. But ultimately, even the residents of San Francisco have woken up to the, uh, to the insanity of, uh, of the, the way they're conducting their own city.